some patients have a condition called Fuchs corneal endothelial dystrophy. This is often picked up by the optician during a routine eye test and can sometimes have an effect in association with complications following cataract surgery. If you imagine the eye as a camera, there are lenses at the front and a photographic film at the back. And there are two lenses at the front of the eye, the cornea or clear window at the front of the eye, which allows two thirds of the focus or course correction of focus. And there's the lens inside the eye called the crystalline lens, which is the remaining one third of the focus, which up until your mid forties can change shape and enable you to focus at different distances. And this is the lens that goes cloudy when you develop a cataract. The cornea, however, is the most important focusing structure of the eye. And for it to function, it needs to be clear. The cornea has an inner surface of cells called the corneal endothelium. And the function of these cells is to pump water out of the cornea to keep it dry. In order for the cornea to be clear, it needs to be in a state of dehydration. There is a single layer of cells on the inner surface of the cornea, and unfortunately these cells cannot reproduce. And sometimes with the passage of time, they die and less cells are visible. When a small amount of cells are present, it is sometimes called a condition called Fuchs corneal endothelial dystrophy. And this can, if there is a small number of cells present, cause water to pass into the cornea and the cornea to become waterlogged and swollen and cloudy as the remaining cells are insufficient to keep the water pumped out of the cornea and keep it in a state of dehydration. Sometimes when there is a limited number of cells but the cells are still working sufficiently hard to keep the cornea dry, cataract surgery can wash away some remaining cells and cause the cornea to then become cloudy due to being waterlogged. If therefore you have Fuchs corneal endothelial dystrophy, specific things have to be performed at the time of the cataract operation to minimise the risk of the cornea going cloudy with particular um, clear uh, substances called viscoelastics injected to protect the corneal endothelial cells. If you're unlucky enough to develop the cornea going cloudy after cataract surgery, a further operation called a corneal endothelial transplant may be needed to get the cornea clear once more. Mm -hmm.